Welcome to EduAero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about metals and non-metals. All the elements are divided into three categories that is metals, metalloids and non-metals. First, let us study the physical properties of metals. Metallic luster. All the metals have shining surface. This property is called metallic luster. Generally, the metals are hard. Although there are some exceptions like potassium, sodium which can easy, easily be cut with knife. Metals can be drawn into thin sheets. This property is called malleability. And they can also be drawn into wires. This property is called ductility. Metals have high melting point. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. And they are sor sonorous which means that they produce sound when they are struck by something. Let us now understand the physical properties of non-metals. Number 1. Luster Metals are, have no luster. It means that they have no shining surface. Second, Physical state Met Non-metals can exist in all the three states that is solid, liquid or a gas. Third is brittleness. Metals are neither malleable nor ductile that is they can neither be drawn into wires nor into sheets. When they are hammered, they break into powder. This property is known as brittleness. So metal, non-metals are brittle. Fourth is low melting and boiling points. It means that metals are easily melted. Non-metals are easily melted at low temperatures. They are also easily boiled. In fact, many non-metals exist in vapor state at room temperature. Fifth is bad conductors of heat and electricity. It means that they are not good conductors of heat and electricity except carbon in the form of graphite which is a good conductor of electricity. Now let us study the chemical properties of metals. Number 1. Reaction with oxygen. Almost all metals react oxygen to form metal oxide. The general reaction is metal plus oxygen gives metal oxide. For example, copper reacts with oxygen to form copper oxide. That is 2Cu plus O2 gives 2Cu. Another example is 4Al that is aluminium reacts with oxygen plus that is plus 3O2 gives 2Al2O3 that is aluminium oxide. Now let us discuss what amphoteric oxides. Some metal oxides show both acidic and basic properties. These basic oxides or metal oxides are known as amphoteric oxides. For example, Al2O3 reacts with acid that is HCl to give AlCl3 that is aluminium chloride and water. Al2O3 also reacts with a base that is NaOH to give NaAlO2 that is sodium nitrate and water. If you note then this metal oxide is reacting with acid and base to give salt and water. Same is the reaction with S when it is when it reacts with acid it behaves as base as if it is a neutralization reaction and when it reacts with the base that is NaOH it gives sodium aluminate which is a salt and water same is here it is showing property of acid when it is reacting with base now let us understand how metal oxide reacts with water metal oxide reacts with water to give metal hydroxide the general reaction is metal oxide plus water gives metal hydroxide some examples are Na2O that is sodium oxide reacts with water to give sodium hydroxide NaOH K2O reacts with H2O to give KOH which is also a general which is also in accordance with the general reaction of metal oxide with water now let us learn how metals react with water metal reacts with water to give metal oxide and hydrogen gas when the metal oxide is further dissolved in water it gives metal hydroxide the general reaction is metal plus water gives metal oxide plus hydrogen and metal oxide plus water gives metal hydroxide. So different metals show different reactivities towards water. For example, potassium and sodium that is K and Na reacts violently with water releasing heat energy. The reactions are K plus H2O gives KOH plus H2 and heat energy. Sodium reacts with water that is Na plus H2O gives NaOH plus H2 and heat energy. Calcium reacts less violently and the reaction is calcium plus H2O gives CaOH whole twice that is calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen. While Al and Fe reacts only with steam and no heat energy is released. 
the reactions are Al plus H2O gives Al2O3 plus hydrogen gas. Iron that is Fe plus H2O gives Fe3O4 that is ferric oxide plus 4H2O hydrogen gas. Now let us understand how metals react with acid. When metal reacts with the dilute acid, it gives salt and hydrogen. The general reaction is metal plus dilute acid gives salt and hydrogen. For example, Zn reacts with sulfuric acid to give ZnSO4 and H2. That is, Zn plus H2SO4 gives ZnSO4 that is zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. There is an exception also. When metal reacts with nitric acid, that is HNO3, it does not give hydrogen gas because Nitric acid is a very good oxidizing agent. Now let us study the reaction of metal with salt solution of other metals. The general reaction is metal A plus salt solution of B gives salt solution of A plus metal B. For example, iron reacts with copper sulfate to give ferrous sulfate that is SO4 and copper. Zn that is zinc reacts with copper sulfate to give ZnSO4 and copper. Similarly, lead that is Pb reacts with copper chloride that is CuCl2 to give PbCl2 that is lead chloride and copper. An important thing to note is this reaction is possible only the metal A is more reactive than metal B. The reactivity series of metals is given aside. Th this is the reactivity series. Potassium, Sodium, Calcium, Magnesium, Aluminium, Zinc, Iron, Lead, Hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver and gold. As you can see in the diagram, uh, when we go down the reactivity decreases. So potassium is the most reactive and gold is the least reactive. 